It had taken Enron 16 years to go from about 10 billion of assets to 65 billion of assets. It took them 24 days to go bankrupt. The fatal flaw at Enron was pride, arrogance, intolerance. All right, Mike, you guys stole from those poor grandmothers. <laughs> we can add a gazillion dollars to the bottom line. All right, that sounds fantastic. Did you convert stock worth $66 million? Uh, I don't know. I netted approximately $100 million. Enron is a company that deals with everyone with absolute integrity. It's all you about my compensation, and if I step on somebody's throat on the way, that doubles it, well, I'll stomp on the guy's throat. <laughs> the other thing about people at Enron is a lot of them were former nerds. You wanted to be the most popular guy on Wall Street, and you were going to do whatever you had to do. They sought out every loophole they could in order to profit. The rules weren't quite clear. They could bury debt, they could bury losses. An industry that was very reliable for a hundred years was all of a sudden turned into a casino. Those guys could just yank the California economy on its leash whenever they wanted to, and they did it, and they did it, and they did it. He just steals money from California to the tune of a million bucks or two a day. Can we rephrase that? Could I predict uh, phony energy prices as a result of deregulation? Yes. Could I predict that Arnold Schwarzenegger would be our governor as a result of deregulation? Oh, I didn't expect that. How exactly does Enron make its money? Accounting doesn't get that creative. I would like to know if you are on crack. This is the shredded evidence that came out of Enron. Everyone was on the bandwagon, and it can happen again. We are the good guys. We are on the side of angels. It has evolved to the corporate crime of the century.